This was the top 20 of the best knockouts of Muhammad Ali. This will really make your day by seeing every blow that Muhammad Ali gave to his opponent. This is 20 in our list. Muhammad Ali and Jen Perry Kopman fought a boxing match on February 29th and 76. This was Ali's first boxing bout after Tibia in Manila. Ali won the fight after knocking out Koopman in the fifth round. The bout took place in Puerto Rico at the Robert Clemente Coliseum and was televised in the United States live on CBS in front of 40 million viewers. Heavyweight boxer Muhammad Ali and Zerk and Blaine fought on uh, December 26, 1971 in Zurich, Switzerland. Ali won the bout through a knockout in the seventh round. Muhammad Ali and Richard Don fought the boxing match on uh, May 24, 1976. Ali won the bout by knocking out Don in the fifth round. Like sort of the fight is remembered for being the last time Ali would knock down any opponent in the ring in his boxing career. It doesn't seem to be any question that, that he should not continue. Well, he's out on his feet for it. If you had boxer Muhammad Ali and Bob Foster fought on November 21, 1972 in Stalin, Nevada, Ali won the bout by knocking out Foster in the eighth round. Ali knocked Foster down seven times and this was the only fight in which Ali ever suffered a cut. The bout was notable because it was one of the first boxing matches referred by Mel Lane. I just caught him with a grazed right hand. I could do a lot of dance and a lot of footwork, but he wasn't a Joe Frazier Savalo type fighter where you have to keep moving. Cassiusly soon, Muhammad Ali fought Sony Banks in a 10-round boxing match at Madison Square Garden in New York City on February 10, 1962. Clay won the fight through a technical knockout when the referee stopped the fight in the fourth round. The event is remembered for being the first professional boxing match in which Ali was officially knocked down in the ring by his boxing opponent. Muhammad Ali vs. Brian London was professional boxing matching between Muhammad Ali and Brian London. The match took place at Earl's Court Arena, London, England on August 6, 1966. It was scheduled for 15 rounds. The match ended in the third round with Ali defeating London by knockout. Heavyweight boxers Muhammad Ali and Al Lewis fought on July 19, 1972 in Dublin, Ireland. Ali won the ball through the technical knockout in the 11th round. A 2012 documentary called When Ali Came to Ireland presents the story of Ali's visit. Let everything go at me. When you've done it, I'll come back at you. But unfortunately, Ali does not give him enough respite. Really giving them the business. And it looks as though Eskin feels that that's enough. He's not going to Muhammad Ali and Chuck Webner fought each other in a boxing match on March 24, 1975 at the Redford Coliseum in Redford Township, Summit County, Ohio. This was Ali's first boxing bout after the rumble in the jungle. Fight was held as give the white guy a break. Ali won the fight. He knocked out Webner in the 15th round. The fight is notable for being among the four fights in which Ali was officially knocked down in the ring and for inspiring the 1976 film Rocky. Muhammad Ali and Harry Cooper fought two boxing matches with each other. Their first match took place on 18 June 1963. Therefore, Ali had changed his name from Cassius Clay. And the second match on 21 May 1966. Ali won both matches. The first fight was stopped by the referee in the fifth round and the second in the sixth round. Both fights were stopped after Cooper started bleeding excessively from a cut to the left eye. Cassius Clay, Sun Muhammad Ali, and Archie Moore fought the boxing match on November 15, 1962, in Los Angeles. 
This is notable because it was Clay's first professional fight in the heavyweight division. Clay won fight through a technical knockout in the fourth round, as he had predicted in a stanza before the bout. Ripping punches by Cassius Clay. Muhammad Ali and Ron Glenn fought a boxing match on May 16, 1975. Ali won the bout through a technical knockout in the 11th round. Muhammad Ali and Carl Meldenberg fought the boxing match on September 10, 1966. While Meldenberg, an orthodox southpaw style, caused Ali some discomfort in the early rounds of the bout, Ali won the fight through a technical knockout after the referee stopped the bout in the 12th round. This was the first time a sports event was broadcast via satellite through a color telecast. Muhammad Ali and Jamie Ellis fought each other in a boxing match at the Astrodome in Houston on July 26, 1971. Ali won the ball through a technical knockout when the referee stopped the fight in the in the twelfth round. This was Ali's first boxing match after fight of the century and had originally been scheduled as a bout between Will Chamberlain, who had the challenge him, then trained for the bout with Carl Diamat, but later withdrew from the fight. Heavyweight boxer Muhammad Ali and Oscar Buena Vena fought at Madison Square Garden in New York City on December 7, 1970. Ali won the bout through a technical knockout in the 15th round. According to Ferdi Patiku, Ali absorbed more punishment in this particular fight than any of his previous fights, and it was a mistake for Ali to have fought with Buena Vena just before his fight with Joe Fisher. Muhammad Ali and Jerry Curry fought two boxing matches with each other. The first bout took place in October 26, 1970, and the second on June 27, 1972. Ali won both fights to technical knockout. The first fight was tough in the third round and the second in the seventh round. The first Ali Curry fight is considered particularly notable because it was the first time Ali was fighting after his suspension from boxing. face there. Ah, Ali out to finish it. Yes, it was a last stand, I think. It was Quarry's last gallant effort. Referee must stop it. Muhammad Ali versus Floyd Peterson refers to two heavyweight professional boxing matches between Muhammad Ali and Floyd Peterson. The first match took place on November 22, 1965 for the WBC ring Leonard World Heavyweight Championship and the second on September 20, 1972 for the regional North American Boxing Federation heavyweight title. Ali won both fights through technical knockout. The first fight was top in the 12th round and the second after the seventh round. Muhammad Ali and Zora Foley fought at Madison Square Garden in New York City on March 22, 1967. Ali won the bout by knocking out Foley in the seventh round. Muhammad Ali and Cleveland William fought each other in a boxing match at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas on November 14, 1966. Ali won the bout through a technical knockout in the third round. Many experts and boxers, including Mike Tyson, regard Ali's performance in this fight to be the finest of his boxing career. This was also the first in which Ali made famous the move he called the Ali Shuffle. Williams out, 
stand-up style, backing away, where he hits him with a left to the face. Williams doesn't quite know what to do. He's been hurt. Badly takes a left and a right in his own corner, right, and the referee stops the fight. The two fights between Muhammad Ali and Sean Liston for Boxing World Heavyweight Championship were among the most controversial fights in the, in the sports history. Sports Illustrated magazine named their first meeting Liston Clay fight. Ali had yet changed his name from Cassius Clay as the fourth greatest sports moment of the 20th century. The first bout was held on February 25, 1964 in Miami Beach, Florida. Clay, who was a it does one underdog won in a major upset when Leston gave up at the opening of the seventh round. The second fight was in May 1965 in Lewiston, Maine, which Ali won with a first round knockout. George Foreman versus Muhammad Ali, billed as the Rumble in the Jungle, was a heavyweight championship boxing match on October 30, 1974, 20th of May Stadium, now the state Tata Rapal in Kenya. Zari, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Between undefeated and undisputed heavyweight champion George Foreman and Muhammad Ali, the event had an attendance of 60,000 people. Ali won by knockout in the eighth round. It has been called arguably the greatest sporting event of the 20th century and was a major upset with Ali coming in as a uh, fourth as one underdog against the unbeaten heavy hitting Foreman. The fight is famous for Ali's introduction of the rope dope tactic. Some sources estimate that the fight was watched by as many as 1 billion television viewers around the world. This is as an idea saying that we should exercise every day so that we could have better health and good ideas every day. Please follow as an idea to watch more videos which we can learn good ideas every day. Thanks.